So we're coming up on this light. Let's uh, take a look at the right side of the screen and it is metered. So we're gonna see if it, okay, that car behind me slowed down quite a bit. So let's see what it does. I'm gonna try to, look. yeah, it's slowing down. It's, it's trying to come to a stop, right? So it did it again. There is a car behind me and it's uh, active right now. So if it's gonna slow down, I'm gonna make sure I uh, accelerate and it is starting to slow down and and it's sorry there was a car super close behind me um, so it did it again and the metered light is on you can see it coming up on the right side over here and let's see um, how FSD reacts here okay so inclement weather it seems to be doing fine and the light is metered, it is on. Let's see uh, if FSD is gonna try to stop here. And it slowed down, but it did not come to a stop. Um, which is great, it's really good news. I'm wondering if the, uh, the mist from the other cars is preventing it from seeing as far as that is it normally would see during a uh, clear weather day. Because it seems to be doing great on uh, on today's route. I gave myself a little bit of distance this time between the uh, car in front of me. I think that mist from the, from the tires from the rain was not giving the line of sight to the cameras as uh, clear of a vision as it did before on the clear day. So let's see what it does. All right, the light is still metered on the right side. You can see it coming up. And let's see, yep, yep, it's doing what I thought it was gonna do. It's coming to a stop. And definitely, yep, I gotta go. There's a car behind me. It seems to me when there's not a car in front of me giving that mist barrier, it wants to slam on its brake. So here, let's try this out again. Yeah, it's starting to slow down. It's coming to a stop. Uh, and there's a car behind me, so I gotta get it going. But I, I think that was why it's the first couple of rounds why it did not stop. I was uh, in front of a lead car and uh, that mist coming from the tire is what caused the, uh, the camera not to see that traffic light like it would on a clear day. But now we tested it out twice where it didn't um, have that mist in front of that barrier. So it wanted to come to a full stop again. My foot is uh, near the accelerator. There is not a car behind me, but it's uh, close enough. So let's see, it's, it, yep, it's coming to a stop. I'm not touching anything. I am literally on a highway right now and it came to a eight mile an hour stop. My foot's away from the accelerator and it went. Um, yeah, that's, that's scary to me. And that light is still on, so this, this will be our last test for the day. Let's see if it slows down. And it's coming to a slow. We're going to 60, 50, 40, 30. And it does, come, all right, all right there, there, there's a car that was just creeping up on me. Um, so that, that I believe is the uh, theory. Um, we had two good drives in the rain today. I was following a lead car pretty closely. The mist from the tires, I believe, uh, uh, impeded the view from the, the camera. So I didn't see that, that metered light. Um, when I gave myself enough distance from the lead car, uh, it was able to see that metered light that allows cars to get onto the highway. Um, and it thought that light was on the highway every single time. So that is, that is my conclusion. For the, uh, for the Tesla AI team. Uh, we've done this in clear daylight now and in inclement weather. Um, my biggest concern with this, again, is that uh, even if you're supervising the drive, if your foot's out here and just relaxing because you know you're on a highway going 55 miles an hour, you're, you're never gonna expect the car to come to a complete stop on a highway. So whether, uh, um, your reaction time is not quick enough, whether it's because you're over here or maybe you're, you're elderly or whatever the case may be. I'm not saying elderly people have slow reaction times, but whatever the case may be. Um, it may not be fast enough to get your foot from here to 
through the accelerator to prevent a car semi or a dump truck or somebody behind you um, that may be even tail tailgating you to slow down um, and for you to accelerate to prevent an accident. So hopefully this will get resolved with the 12.41 uh, or two, whatever we end up getting as consumers um, for FSD. And uh, hopefully this gives uh, Elon and Tesla AI enough data to take a look at it, analyze it, and, and try to find a uh, solution for this issue. Uh, but outside of that, I appreciate you guys watching. Please follow me or subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And I will be uh, retesting all these areas once I get 12.4.1 or 12.4x uh, version update. And just real quick to point out again, the uh, car was on auto max the whole time. So my understanding is it does not go to version 11, stack 11, if that's the proper term for it. Um, unless if it did that, then the auto max would uh, not be present. It would go back to the regular offset speed that you would set on the uh, system. But this entire uh, testing that I've done, auto max stayed active. So I believe it's still functioning the entire time on version 12.3.6. If I am uh, incorrect on that, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.